Hi, this is Ike Rahimi. And today I want to go over one case with you guys. And basically, I want to tell you up front that the patients that we work on, they're average patients. They are the ones you see in Costco, at the supermarkets, at the grocery stores. They're just like you and me, the average person. This is not the Hollywood smiles. So you might see a lot of discoloration or certain areas that you may think it looks ugly, but we have a lot of that stuff in our mouths. The most important thing is we do what the patient needs or wants instead of trying to replace all the teeth so they can look like one of the smiles that you see with patients in the media or in the movies and shows like that. Okay, so let's begin. In this particular one, uh, we have done a crown and also we have strained the teeth. The patient came in and basically that's... So let's start. Here is a before photo and right here, this dark area, the crown has fallen off or broke off the crown. Right here, the crown has fallen off or has broken off from the uh, base. So let me go back a little bit. The older crowns, and sometimes we still do those, but not as much anymore. Uh, we used to do a lot of porcelain fused to metal crowns where the base or the framework was metal and on top of it, we put porcelain. But today we don't have to do that because our 100% porcelain crowns are very, very strong. So over time, sometimes, the porcelain chips off or breaks off of the older crown. So this is what you're looking at here. Another thing I want you to look at is how these lower teeth, especially this one, is kind of coming out at you. And this was causing her to bite her lip and other issues. Uh, there's staining going on, but we all have those staining. There's a little calculus and plaque buildup. Um, I think she's coming in for her cleaning right after this particular appointment. And this is her closed view. Again, you can see this uh, metal frame. And this is a top view. Uh, let's go over a couple of stuff that uh, may look a little weird or scary to the unprofessional. Uh, these little round dots, they are Two things well on this one and on this one they are implant crowns and the way we cement implant crowns is with a screw and then we cover that screw up kind of like a manhole on the street that you see and the benefit is if this crown if this implant crown ever has a problem in the future we can open this up remove the implant crown fix it and then put it back where a long time ago we were not doing this and so we had to cut the entire crown. This all over here is basically when we have to do a root canal through a crown, we make a little hole. And actually this is the crown that had fallen out or the top surface of it. And over here, uh, this is called the porcelain fused to metal crowns and we used to make the surface sometimes metal so it can withstand all the biting forces of eating. And again, here is that wonky tooth that's kind of like out of alignment. There's no room for this tooth to go back because the space has closed. Here's the top arch. The top arch is not bad, but uh, still a little bit of a alignment needed on this side. Here's a little wear and tear on the teeth, and usually over time, we see a, so, some of this. So we sit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, not a major issue. This looks like an amalgam of filling that was done uh, years ago when we did a root canal, and uh, we had to fill up this hole. Amalgam was the best material. Now we don't use amalgam as much because it has um, the mercury, and so mercury uh, is involved with um, uh, issues with the brain. So we don't use mercury or amalgam fillings at this office, but I know some offices still use it. 
Here we go. 12 months later. This is the top view and we took these photos right after we took the braces off. So when we take the braces off, we take the impression for the, when we take the braces off, we take the impression for the retainers at the same day. So some of this purple stuff that you'll be seeing is the color of the alginate. That's the impression material that we use to take the mold to make the retainers. So not bad, things are looking good on the top arch and I'll show you the bottom arch. This is uh, again, a little bit of uh, alginate material here and there. This was the wonky tooth that was sticking out of the side and it's in back alignment. Uh, this is the tooth that we went ahead and fixed. And this is a metal retainer that we put and um, for our patient's lower teeth, this will never shift. And this is what it is. Again, a little alginate material. Uh, this is the top view. You can see the little wear and tear on these teeth a little bit more. You can, uh, we can do a little bit of filling on those down the line. And here's the area that we straighten on this side. So this is the before right here and this is the final the patient was very happy with the results and that's another case again our cases the patients that we work on they're the average patients like you and i so we do what is needed if they want the hollywood smile we can do that or if they want simple stuff like limited braces doing a crown or an implant we can still do that Thank you for watching. This is Ike Rahimi. I hope you have a wonderful day.